What's up everybody? I have not done story in a while, so I thought now would be a good time to catch up on that. So let's just jump in and see if we get anything good. Uh, this is the interlude. This is the first chapter of the interlude, so that's what I'm doing right now. I haven't played since basically since book one ended. It's There's just been so much stuff going on, so i just kind of been saving it pretty much but I think some good stuff is gonna happen or is happening as people have already seen it even in victory the threat lingering over eastern Ardra remains after betraying the onus Wizette has covertly allied itself with Sadali the threat of Rondal ever approaching. The Onus and Horn combine their forces. So I didn't see if Crystal Sanctum was on the map. Okay, so was that? So I'm guessing this is going to be the rebellion. What Monk? What Monk thinks is the rebellion? And <laughs> imagine if all that took place in one day. You have no intention of reconsidering your course, then? No, my lady. I see. I beg your understanding. This is not an act of rebellion towards Horn. I do not doubt you. It is you whom I serve, Lady Mashiri, and none other. However... You must go to Shitzelt. Indeed. As formidable as Solidus may be, do you believe it can bring down Wizette with a single squadron? The main force is said to eliminate Fennis first, then move to invade Wizette. Yes, that is correct. But as it stands, they may not reach Shitzelt in time. His fate grows all the more grim with every moment wasted. Go forth then. But I never noticed Frederica's heels. <laughs> Forgive my obstinacy. Worry not. We have Adelard with us. Very well. Good, uh, good member to have on the team. Ah. We march for Wazette. Make haste. Yes, sir. You must forgive our dear leader. He simply... You needn't concern yourself. I would choose the same course of action were I in his place. I'm sorry about this, King Mont. Let me apologize for darling. Thank you. But there is no need. King Rob may not have been long for this world, but it was still I who took his life. Do not say that, Mont. Mushery. You spared me the sin of killing my own flesh and blood. A sin which was mine to bear. Go. Engelbert surely grows impatient. Yes, my lady. I shall take my leave. Don't worry about Darling. I won't let him do Darling. anything he can't handle. So it sounds like Mont has a very different tone, first of all. Obviously, a lot of stuff has happened. <clears throat> Mont, you mustn't <clears throat> punish yourself for what you did. <sighs> for when you do, it's my heart that's torn open. Yeah, Mont. I'm sorry. Oh, Salir. Why are they just staring at each other? <laughs> a real man would take oh, this no. opportunity to claim Reaches. a kiss from her lips. I'm saying. Who's claiming kisses? Let me see. H hey, if you don't stop pushing. <laughs> 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 
The way they do the cutscenes in this game is so funny. So here, Rachel, just what exactly are you doing? Oh, uh, you know, we've come to report that the troops are assembled. I see. It is time then. So I guess they're friends now, or they're friendly. So yeah, I, I was kind of wondering why, at first, why uh, Engelbert said he was going to attack Wazette, but obviously Schitzelt is still over there in the prison. So that's a pretty good reason. And Fennis is just Fennis at this point. Like, everyone hates them, so... The United Armies of Horn and Leonis hereby march to invade Fennis. In truth... I wish to strike it, Wazette, alongside Solidus, so that we may rescue Schitzelt. But alas... Even after the death of Moraga, Fennis still maintains their fervor for battle with us. Which means the best course of action is to crush the immediate threat from Fennis, and yeah. then face Wazette once and for all. <laughs> of course, we do this not only for Schitzelt, but to also save Victora, oh, no. Martha, and the members of Rubius. Oh no, Mon. Then we unify East Ardra and meet the Rundal invasion from the west head on. Sounds like a good idea on paper. Yes, my lady. Now. I must head for Bordy's castle Again, in the that south of Wizard. animation was so cool. I oh, love it. Are you sure you'll be all right by yourself? Do not worry. It's not as if I'm brazenly launching an assault on enemy territory. <laughs> I shall go to the castle of Bordy's, where Glacella lays besieged, and together we shall head for Wizard. Bordy's. What danger could possibly await me? I barely remember that part of the story. At least allow me to have you accompanied. Very well. Why don't I take Ketone? Yes, she just might be best for this task. Ketone! Here, Your Highness. I need you to accompany Mashari to Bordis Castle. Is that alright? Is she jealous of their marriage? I'm counting on you, Ketone. <laughs> A little I bit, sounds like. I <laughs> journeys to Bordis Castle to rally Glacella. Why mm. not? This is most opportune. It will give me a chance to ascertain the metal of your betrothed with my own eyes. Wait, what? Mushery. <laughs> what is going on? Cat fight. Are you sure of this, Your Highness? What do you mean? Ramada heads for Ovis with Fordham. Engelbert marches ahead with Solidus to Azent. The only force heading for Fennis is Nitor, led by Adelard. But we have Calum. We have you, Lilith. What remains of Calum barely counts as a squadron. There's only Ramada I know, right? and I. Without Velide, what are you going to do? The main force of Nitor shall also remain stationed at Horn Castle. What do you mean? I'm told there has been activity among the Sanctum monks. We cannot leave Horn Castle undefended under such circumstances. <sighs> Meaning the main force to assault Fennis will be the three of us standing here right now. What? <laughs> there is not we can do but go. The threat from the west grows ever closer. Then we take to the field. I am your sword, King Mont, no matter what trials you face. Yeah. But, in truth, I doubt I can assure the safety of others as it stands. Be that as it may, this is the path before us. Hmm. Rightly said. Now, the troops await us. It is time to go to battle. Nice. It's kind of a lot going on there. Mm.
Yeah. I don't know, like, there's like so much going on. It's crazy, but don't think poorly of it's kind of weird back. how the army, the army has seemed small all along. And, and now, like, Adelard is saying, like, oh, Nitor is going there, and I'm staying here, and it's just like, okay, yeah, the army was already small, like, what are you, what are you, like, saying, because you guys were low in numbers already. Anyway, um, yeah, let's just skip this battle. <laughs> this isn't fair. Why do I have to sit around in this castle all day? If anyone should be voicing their complaints, it's me. I'm the one stuck looking after an ill-mannered bratty little girl. I hope girl. they finally fight now. That would Are be amazing. Are you referring to me? Are you claiming to be oblivious? Sitting yourself on the throne just because there are no eyes upon you. Revering an empty throne is so stupid. I mean... It's just a regular old chair. Your aptitude for misplaced logic is the only thing about you that impresses me. <laughs> Perhaps you should abandon the Black Mage Arts and become a court jester instead. Oh, snap. What are you mumbling about? That is like a 17th, 17th century joke. A roast. Do you want to be reduced to charred ashes? How fanciful coming from a mage whose flame burns so dim. Let's go. Have at me. I shall dice you into the finest of pieces. <laughs> this is like the comic relief That's section. Enough. This entire book is just gonna be this, huh? This is gonna be what like side stories. Oh, if it isn't my dear Grawl. I can tell you worry for me. So Grawl is a name that we've heard before. I was looking back wow. at the Speaking of being oblivious. Lucia side story. Grawl is one of my brother's loyal men. And apparently he Which was like a commander. I'll do anything I order of him. Understand? <laughs> That's funny. Now it's your stupidity that impresses me. I'm sorry to inform you, but Grawl is smitten with me. Come, Grawl. Let us deal with this nuisance. Stop this at once. <laughs> Do not forget that our mission here is to protect Horn Castle. The, f the whole the whole scene just shook. That was hilarious. Uh, attention! Sink to monks! We're heading this way! So they're here. Stand back and I'll blast them into piles of ash. You don't have what it takes. My blade shall handle this. Hmm. That sounds like a challenge. Why not? Let us see who can fell the most monks. So yeah, about Grawl, at the end of that story, they sort of made him seem like kind of a jerk commander. And sort of seeing Adelard as a much better uh, person to be leading Nitor. So seeing him here is kind of like, he doesn't seem like that much of a jerk. Lord Adelard's orders were to monitor Rachis. But she has yet to act in any way overly suspicious. Hmm. They say she schemes to enter the service of Rundal by bringing them Lord Adelard's head. Uh huh. Um, it may still be too early to pass judgment. But should her actions prove suspicious, I shall show no quarter. That is very interesting. So it's almost like a Venera situation. Um, and that could explain why she's why she throws so many insults at Salir because it's almost like her real personality is just shining through, even though she kind of pretends to like Adelar. We, we shall see. Maybe I'm reading too much into it, but I mean, obviously they just said it. But he could just be that. That could just be nothing. Anyway, let's just skip this. Oh, right, I forgot about Dia. I didn't realize they had gone with Dia. Miss Ramada! Oh, what is it? Um, 
Is it much longer to Ovis? I'd say half the way is behind us now. You must be tired. Let us take a short respite. So I'm guessing this came out when e Extra EX oh, came I'm out. I'm not tired at all. I I'm so excited about going didn't to Ovis. That. I just can't wait to get there. Excited, you say? Isn't everyone? Indeed we are. I'm surprised Leonis could be so thoughtful. Oh, I know. I can't wait to get my hands on those fluffy sheep. Oh my god. Huh? Ovis does have a lot of pastures where sheep graze, but... Rundal invades at this very moment. Such a luxury shall not be ours. What? Hold on. I thought this journey was a reward for our victory in battle against Venice. Oh my god. Huh? Are you serious? It's not? My purpose for traveling to <laughs> is to gather reinforcements. So that means we're going to be facing the army of Rundal. Did like nobody fill but them in on isn't this? Isn't the Rundal army really strong? Yes, of that I am certain. Ugh. I want to go home. I relish facing strong foes, but Randall. Uh, sorry. I just remembered there was something I have to do. Can I go home now? What a bunch of punks. Our mission is not so much to do battle with Randall, but perhaps more so to distract them. We're supposed to distract Rundal? Yes, that is correct. Should we draw their attention with the defense of Ovis? It will delay their invasion of Horn? And if Rundal withdraws, Ovis will be free from trouble for a while, right? Yes, that would be the outcome. Then let us make haste. <laughs> so, what now? Well, at least you don't really have to fight. Hmm. I guess we must go put an end to this battle. So, we're making one last push then? Seems that way. Maybe this time we'll truly be rewarded a luxurious journey of relaxation if we get this done. Alright, let's press on! <laughs> But for whatever reason, I'm thinking of the vision cards, and I'm like, this ain't no winter holiday party. Of course, they had to have the crazy throne with the tusks on the side. But I do like the green, I must say. Am I to take now? King Moraga. Reporting. Nice to see Oldua get some character development. Lady Melnia and our main force Ruina have set sail for Wazette. Lady Oldua? Go with them if it pleases you. Abandon Fenis and scurry over to Wazette's ranks. I will not stop you. Those of that mind are already aboard the ships. I see. Whoa. We warriors of Moraga's Imperial Guard have our pride. You'd best be certain of yourself. Remain in Fenis and the path before you will be a thorny one. We would rather choose death than bow to Melnia or Renell. Melnia likely intends to seize Wazette for herself. Cory is a cunning one, though. He will set Melnia and the others upon Horn and Leonis when it suits him, then discard them like the used pawns they are. Curry's kind of a jerk. Their betrayal shall never be forgiven. <laughs> None know this better than I. R reporting! The United Armies of Horn and Leonis advance north. They will be at our borders before long. With due respect, 
Perhaps we should cross the Great River to Wizette and wait them out. Foolishness! Warriors do not turn their backs to the enemy! B but at our current strength, we will be no match for their united armies. What of Kilfay? She remains within the castle walls. Summon her. And of the united armies? Is this going to be a rare summon? Meet or... them head on, but do not engage them fully. You are guaranteed. You need only suppress their advance. Kilfay, so you were unable to leave the castle after all. So yeah, that was interesting. Interesting to see some Fennis soldier personality. And, you know, the whole loyalty integrity thing was kind of good to see, actually. I, I'm surprised to get that out of Fennis, of all places. Uh, we're back in Fennis. I thought you two have crossed a Wizet with Melnia and the others. Did you call for my presence only to say this? I have but one request of you. I never noticed her cape is like slanted like, like her hair is. That's pretty Strike cool. Strike down Melnia. That's a Do nice you touch. Know what you ask? Melnia was in favor with King Moraga. I do. Yet she bore not even a morsel of love for him in return. Mm -hmm. Refusing to care for him even in his final moments. I have one condition. You know what it is. The release of your brother Malleus, correct? Oh, Kilfe has a brother? Speak. Will you or will you not release him? This is gonna be good. Know that I shall not act under any other conditions. I, I had the feeling that Melnio is kind of like a powerful witch type. I guess, I guess we have Kilfe here was basically I don't know maybe up to her strength in terms of magic is that a skeleton no one ever fed him Malleus. did he get cursed me. or something what's, what's up with all those flowers Lady Odoa, there you are what is it? The united armies of Horn and Leonis have shattered our lines and advance upon the castle gates. That was fast. Understood. Lady Odoa was down here paying her respects to Malleus again? It was again. King Braga who killed the boy. Oh. Yet Lady Odoa seems convinced her inability to guide the king is to blame. So I'm sort of confused as to what Oldua is. Is she like the Lilith of Venice? Like, she's just like the guy that's guiding the guy, the girl that's guiding uh, Moraga. Because it kind of seems like think poorly she things. loves him. Kind of seems like he loves Melnia. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Anyway. Oh, that's a torch. I thought that was like a broken sword. The handle or something, I don't know. It's interesting to see these maps again. Because they were like the Fennis, like Cold when you were building desperate. up to Oldoa. That is what you are. I offer you my life. What say you? To what end? In exchange for your power. No. Wow. Can you not be swayed? Release Malleus, or I shall not fight for Fennis. Does she know Malleus that he's dead? Is gone. I think she knows. Who killed him? Oh no. <laughs> Answer me! was my doing 
Forgive me. I am truly sorry. So old was gonna be like the tragic character now. I already knew. What? I have been down to the dungeons. Then why? I could not accept what I saw to be reality. Oh man. Perhaps I deluded myself into thinking it was merely a dream. Letting myself believe that it would not be real. As long as the truth of his death stayed obscured from me. And yet... You... Yeah, Why that's... do you confess to your sins? Why do you apologize for your misdeeds? Had you not let the truth escape your lips... Malleus could have lived eternal in my dreams. Wow. Oh. Coping mechanism? My little Malleus. Oh, it's her little brother too. There is no reason for me to remain in a world where he is no more. Wow. Nor is there reason for me to fight for Moraga. No. It was I who killed Malleus. If you must hate someone, let it be me. I will not fight for Moraga. Is there nothing I can say? Enough. If I am to fight... Kill Faye. I shall only do so for she who honored Malleus's memory with flowers each and every day. Wow. Kill Faye. Having said that, the might of the united armies of Horn and Leonis eclipse that of Fenis. I'm like Sir, tearing up right now. It is now, beyond bit. even one such as you. There is one strategy we may employ. We band with Mont. <laughs> I, I kind of was thinking they might surrender the to him. The armies likely intend to invade the heart of the well, right. after finishing off the headless snake that this is Venice. obviously feels like a trap. It is all but like certain that trap Sadly him. knows of this. Meaning... The rear of their ranks would be assaulted by a great army of Sanctum monks. Naturally, Mont and his allies must already fear this. Which is why they moved to first bring down Venice Castle. You mean to say that if we surrender and join with the Allied armies? An opportunity to fell Melnia will be ours. Hmm. Very well. There is one problem, however. And that is? Before we surrender, Moraga's Imperial Guard will need to be won over. That could be... Oh, those guys from before. If we fail to do so. It will be nigh impossible for us to make it to the lands of Wazette. So be it. So this is sounding like an actual surrender. convince the Imperial Guard of our cause. And if you cannot? They will be made to obey at the end of a sword. Wow. That was, that was more than I expected. That, that was actually pretty respectable. Um, one thing I wanted to say at the start of it was just the theme of like family members in, in this game, right? So let me see if I could turn off this volume a little bit because I feel like I'm being probably going to get drowned out by the volume. So let me just lower it. So kind of one of the themes is so going back to like Lilith, I think her brother died in the battlefield right obviously king rob died in the in the battlefield and so one of the things as i was kind of looking back at salir's story is that she kind of clings to adelard and part of the reason why i thought that was because salir kind of realizes what's going on like you know you're in a war situation people are about to die and she doesn't really this is like my theory she doesn't want to like one day for Adelar not to come home or something, or, you know, for her to find out he died. So she's kind of like 
trying to stay near him just to, to kind of be the person watching over him. And part of the reason I say that is if you play the uh, Lucia side quest, if you like rewatch that story, um, you know, Adelard's like there fighting Lucia and he kind of, you know, gets wounded and then Salir just kind of comes in to save the day. So she's kind of, you know, she kind of wants them both to have each other's back, right? Um, and then also, of course, uh, Dario and Mashari. That's another brother and sister or, you know, like family members. So like that kind of stuff seems to be happening a lot. So that's pretty cool. That, not that it's cool, but it's kind of like that seems like a theme that's sort of going on here. And I, um, I feel like they just mentioned another sibling. I can't remember. Let's just keep going. All right, let's see if this gives, I mean, I think this is gonna have story, whether it has at the beginning or the end. It's gonna be at the end for sure, but at the beginning, probably not. And we'll just skip if that's the case. I think that's, oh no, here we go, here we go. So we got horn. We shall soon arrive in Leonis. We are some distance from Leonis Castle, and yet... Leonis. So wait, they're on the way back? The miasma spread by the crystal pervades the air even here. Lady Mashari, try not to breathe too deeply out here. I shall take care. I implore you all to do the same. I don't remember what miasma is. Just how dense does this miasma grow But I think they Leonis mentioned Castle. it in the rain story. Our scouts know. report that those who breathe it in deeply begin to rot from the inside. Oh, Leonis. So I guess they were at blood. Horn. What Got a it. terrible fate. Why would the crystal continue to emit such a horrid miasma? What is it, Ketone? Two figures on the path ahead. Out in these wilds? It seems they are being attacked by monsters. How shall we proceed? Two figures. We save them. What? We save them. Was that know unexpected? Who they, are. they may call me the beautiful steel maiden, but my blood does not run cold. And besides, Mont saved a certain band of travelers who were waylaid by bandits. It is by that kindness I stand here at this very moment. It taught me that destinies entwined are not to be ignored. We Whoa. join the battle. Follow my lead. This game talks a lot about faith and destiny and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, one other thing I wanted to say about the whole Oldoa, you know, joining up with Mont is like Mont for the whole story has basically been a little bit of someone who is easily charmed. So if that's what the plan is to kind of betray him at the end, then... I, f I totally see Mont going for it, and I like I don't know if that's actually gonna happen, but it does seem like it's more of a plan to get at Melnia. I don't think Melnia is gonna go down that easily, because she's she's sort of being built up to be like the next one of the next enemies, like bad guys of the story. I know I know there's like Rundle and everything, but I sort of feel like it's gonna be Melnia. Yeah, and obviously Sadly too. But I think it's I think Melnia is gonna be a pretty big arc in the story. Who are these? Thank you for saving our hides. Oh, I kinda like I'm that Jareel. guy's design. And this is Jareel. Lizette. Think not of it. Lizette. May you Get stay safe here. on your journey. What is she wearing? Hey, you're from Horn. It's Aren't like you? the top part looks like a nun type thing. And the rest of it is like a Leotor. Just as I thought. Is this is a trap. We travel in search of a new master to serve. What? Then I suggest you search elsewhere. Is this like Ovis people? Can you not hear us out? My apologies. We can afford no delays. 
<laughs> Remember your words this day, Mashari. We will get back to you. Back at you, I should Why say. Why did you disregard their wishes so flatly? Did you not just speak of valuing destinies entwined? Did their attire not reveal anything to you? Their attire? Hmm. They appear to be from Likaros. It used to be the largest country in the West, after taking the kings of Rundal and Heimler hostage. Word is that Likaros fell when Rundal rose in rebellion. Indeed. Then, those two travel in search of a new kingdom to serve under. A reasonable assumption. However, we have no means of discerning whether they truly hail from Likaros. <coughs> Lady Mashari! Lady Mashari! You need not worry for me. But... Can't be taking that and those hits of the miasma. Could she be horn nobility? Without a doubt, she might even be from the royal bloodline. Who does this guy remind this me of? This is an opportunity we cannot allow to slip by. Someone from anime or something. You've got that right. All right, we follow them. He does have like the Spike Spiegel hair, but uh, it, I think it's mostly the beer. It just reminds me of someone. Alright, so this is the end of this chapter. I'm gonna I'm gonna end this video here and I'll I'll start the next video.